Welcome to the Pyrogel insulation installation video. In this video we will show you how to install Pyrogel as a thermal insulation system for piping operating at above ambient service temperatures. Now let's walk through the steps involved in getting to a completed pipe section, like this one. Pyrogel is engineered with safety and performance as our top priorities. The pyrogel blankets will likely produce dust, so we recommend using dust masks, safety eyewear, and work gloves for personal comfort. Pyrogel dust can be easily washed from the skin and clothing with soap and water. Pyrogel is manufactured in two thicknesses, 5 mm and 10 mm. The work table used for cutting the pyrogel should be wide enough to accommodate the roll and long enough to fit the components being insulated. The first step is to cut the pyrogel material into lengths to fit the pipes being insulated. You can use a box cutter or knife to do the cutting. Before starting, cut the end of the pyrogel to make sure it is square. To determine the length of material needed for each layer, refer to the cut charts in our installation manual as a guide. You can also use a scrap piece of pyrogel to measure the length by wrapping it around the pipe and then marking the place where it meets. Either a butt joint or lap joint is acceptable for the longitudinal seams. Transfer the measurement to the roll of pyrogel material and cut to length. Before starting, make sure all work surfaces are clean and free of moisture and other imperfections. To begin insulating, place the first layer of pyrogel on the pipe and, while holding it in place by hand, wrap it around the circumference of the pipe. Then, secure the pyrogel with wire, bands, or fiber reinforced tape. Tighten until the longitudinal seams are tightly butted with no gap. If using a lap joint, it is good practice to orient the overlap with a downward facing watershed. Install adjacent sections of pyrogel in the same fashion. Additional layers of pyrogel can be installed over the first layer and secured, making sure to stagger all joints. Longitudinal joints should be staggered a minimum of 75 millimeters in order to stagger the location of the joint around the pipe circumference. All circumferential joints should be staggered by a minimum of 75 millimeters along the longitudinal axis of the pipe. Alternatively, multiple layers can be installed using the same piece of material, which can be overlapped to the correct thickness. Once the pyrogel is installed, finish with metal cladding and seal with owner-approved sealant. Pyrogel elbows can be field cut or purchased as prefabricated fittings. Pre-cut elbow sections for piping 8-inch NPS and smaller are based on a reverse gore style pattern that gathers in the throat and is closed along the heel. Larger elbows are often constructed of individual gores that get applied one at a time, with the seam located in the throat. We will now show the insulation of a 4-inch NPS elbow using a 90-degree elbow fitting. Note that on the pre-cut fittings, the layer number is indicated by the number of marks along the edge, and the pipe size is indicated by the color of the marks. To install the pyrogel, first place the middle of the fitting along the throat of the elbow. Tightly wrap the material around to the heel, aligning the seam with the center line of the elbow. 
Secure each gore with wire, bands, or fiber reinforced tape. It is important that the pyrogel material is tight to the elbow. Work the excess material around the elbow towards the back side of the fitting until the butt joint is closed tightly. Once all gores have been secured, push material from both ends of the fitting cover to ensure that all seams are tightly closed. Apply each subsequent layer in a similar way. Note that in multi-layer fittings, the inner layers will often have an extended tangent to provide a shiplap joint for the adjacent line insulation. When insulating flanges or valves, you can install the pyrogel pipe insulation all the way up to the flange face, unless the finished pyrogel thickness would obstruct the bolt pattern on the flange. First, wrap a strip of pyrogel over the insulated pipe portion. Build up the insulation so that it is the same diameter as the adjacent flange. Once both shoulders are completed, you can now insulate around the valve body. Refer to our installation manual for instructions on cutting pyrogel for valve insulation. Wrap the valve body insulation around the valve body and secure. For additional layers, follow the same process, making sure to move the cutout for the bonnet neck on each wrap of pyrogel to achieve stagger. Once the valve body insulation is installed, you can now insulate the bonnet area. Wrap the pyrogel bonnet section around the bonnet area and secure. Continue with additional layers until you achieve the correct thickness. To insulate the top of the bonnet section, cut pyrogel discs to the same size as the bonnet end. Install the discs on the top of the bonnet section and secure. This completes our installation of Pyrogel insulation. For more details on installing the Pyrogel, please refer to our installation manual.